Terrier's management is such a hard topic. Um, so there's some parts that are really difficult with this and then there's one bit that we really wanna focus on that we should use. Uh, so let's have a look at what we're talking about. So some possible questions could be, describe, explain, outline a materials management strategy to optimize the operation system. Or maybe same question, but it just says instead of optimizing operations, it just says to improve the efficiency or effectiveness, same thing. And then maybe discuss them. So you gotta do the same strategies and discuss how they could optimize the operations, which is basically asking you how could they make it more efficient and effective and also some disadvantages. So to remember that, we've got to talk about, we've got our operation system, we're trying to make it more efficient and effective. We've got all these strategies and we're looking at this group here. We've got forecasting of inputs, master production schedule, materials requirement planning. These are awful. These are things you don't want to talk about unless you get asked because they're so difficult to explain. And then we've got one of the most useful topics in the course, which we do want to use if we get asked, which is just in time inventory or JIT. So let's, we need to be able to describe each one. Let's have a look. So to describe forecast and we look at the past business data and trends to predict future customer demand. So we're trying to figure out what products the customers want, the quantity and when. And basically we're trying to match supply of the product with demand of the product. So we never have too much or too little inventory. Master production schedule is then we set a schedule of what output we intend to produce and what quantity and when, how we will produce it and where production will take place. And that's based on this forecast. And then we've got materials requirement planning, which is the system to help the operations manager. Now we've got our master production schedule, so we know what we're going to make and when and where. We've got to put in out what's all the materials we need, all the little bits and parts. And then we've got to schedule them to order them from suppliers. And then we've got to have procedures in place to buy them. These are so difficult to explain. So if the question's open-ended and just ask for a material strategy, I would not talk about any of these. But you might get a question which asks specifically about them, which we've seen in the past. So you do need to know them. The one that is the most useful, one of the best topics of the year is just-in-time inventory. We aim to avoid holding any stock beyond that which is immediately required. So instead of ordering bulk, we arrive, we get supplies arrive just as needed. And then as soon as we finish something, we send it to the customer. That way we don't have to hold onto it. So once the product's finished or the output's finished, we send it to the customer. And if you had to summarize it, you'd say, let's order things more frequently in smaller batches of inventory. And the last thing we need to know is the pros and cons. So what are the advantages to efficiency and effectiveness? And what are the disadvantages? So forecasting, while well, prevents ordering too few or too many, too few, we run out, production stops. Too many, we got don't have enough space. So therefore, we're going to increase the efficient use of our space. These are all products to uh, improvements to efficiency. In terms of effectiveness, we're going to make a better product because we always have the parts that we need um, and the inputs that we need. And therefore, we're going to have fewer defects and waste in production. Disadvantage is a lot of time and resources required. But also, it's just always guesswork. So if you're trying to predict anything based on past data and trying to predict the future sports teams, um, the share market, it's always limited. So it's never 100% right. What about with these two, master production schedule materials requirement planning? We'll group them together. Basically, we're going to have the same improvements to efficiency as we do with forecasting and the same improvements to effectiveness. Just here though, yeah, we've got high cost and time involved again. But also now we've got limitations of data. The data that goes into the system to make predictions might be limited and it's inflexible. What if we need to change all these schedules that we've come up with? Just in time prevents ordering too many inputs. That's the best thing about it. We only have what we need. So remember we looked at the Japanese and Toyota coming up with this massive efficiency in terms of use of space and reduce costs. We don't need as many people. We don't need as big a warehouse. We don't need to have as much insurance on inventory and so on. These are all improvements to efficiency. In fact, effectiveness, we're going to make a better product because we're forced to. We can't have any waste in the system, so we better get it right. And therefore, we're going to eliminate all the waste. And we're also flexible. If customers want red sweaters, and, that, and we've got red sweaters, but then that changes and they want blue sweaters, well, we haven't got a whole bunch of red material there that we don't need anymore because we only have just what we need. We can now go and buy blue material. Very flexible. And then the disadvantages is this is what's happening in the world right now during COVID. You run out of inventory when you can't get it. So at the world, like computer chips at the moment and shoes, we just can't get them because things have, we ran too lean, too much just in time. We are too dependent on the reliability of suppliers. It's also difficult to apply to Australia versus Japan. We're a big country. Um, things don't get here as easy. We're very isolated. And also because we're not buying in bulk, suppliers might increase, increase their prices for smaller orders.